Hello and welcome to another filter grade tutorial. My name is Layton. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and properly use the free LUTs from filtergrade.com. I'm in Premiere here. I've already got a timeline set up of just some random clips just to show you how to use all the LUTs. Now, none of these currently have any color correction done to them. But first, let's install the entire LUT pack into the app data Premiere. That way, we don't have to search for it every time you want to apply a LUT. So to save these LUTs to Premiere, what you want to do is go to applications. Obviously I'm using a Mac here, but it's a very similar process if you're using Windows. You wanna find Adobe Premiere, open that folder up, navigate to the actual app itself, right click and you wanna hit show package contents. Open this one up. You wanna go down until you find Lumetri, open that one up and right here you've got a folder called LUTs. Inside LUTs is a creative folder. So if I open that up, you see all the LUTs that are already preloaded in Premiere as well as some of the ones that I've already added myself. So what you wanna do now is just move this folder out of the way Highlight all the cube files here, and all you have to do is drag and drop them into this creative folder. Every LUT from this LUT pack starts with FG for filter grade, which is nice because that means it keeps it all together as opposed to alphabetizing them and spreading them all out. So that's all you really have to do. Exit out of that, open Premiere back up, and here I am back in my project. So I'm currently in the editing workspace right now. Some of you may like color. This is the format I'm used to and I prefer to work in. In order to access the Lumetri color, you're gonna have to go up to the window here, on the top bar, scroll down to Lumetri Color, give that a click, and here we are, the right hand side here, we have our basic correction, our creative curves, color wheels, all the color adjustments in Premiere. So let's go to this first clip here, just a little video of some flowers, a nice little path. So in the Lumetri Color panel, you wanna go down into Creative, and right under where it says Look, this is where you can find all your LUTs. So right here, you can see all the filter grade LUTs are imported. So if you're new to LUTs or not familiar with how they work, basically they're just preset color profiles that speed up the coloring process in post. Because once you finish editing your video, if it's a bigger project, the last thing you want to do is spend another four or five hours coloring all the clips. So what these LUTs do is just fast tracks the coloring process. It also helps your footage stay consistent. If you use one LUT or a specific series of LUTs through your entire video, it will just keep the consistency making your video look a lot more professional, a lot more cinematic. LUTs also help you achieve styles and looks that you may not be able to achieve on your own, or it would just take way too long to get on your own. So again, it just speeds up the whole process, gives your footage a great look, and it really is worth Worth investing in the color of your video it takes it to a whole other level and your viewers will definitely notice so this pack here comes with eight cinematic LUTs they're all labeled for what they can do so if you go to Cine basic it just kind of adds a little bit of a cinematic feel nice matte look as you can see here bright cold drama this is a little more dramatic so if I click that high contrast still soften the shadows which is great if you're trying to achieve that cinematic look you can always adjust the footage after you've applied the LUT. These LUTs aren't always a one-click solution to color your video. Most video clips are different on how they are exposed, what colors are in them, and that all affects how the LUT will appear on your footage. So you may have to do some minor adjustments once you actually apply the LUT. So here you have the intensity slider. If I don't want this LUT to show up so much, you can just bring the intensity down and it will return more so to the way the video clip looked before. And the opposite occurs when you go to the right of the slider. The look is exaggerated. I'm just gonna put that back to 100. So you still have all these regular coloring abilities. You've got your highlight and shadows, split toning, basic corrections. You can always go back, fix the white balance. Everything is still easy to adjust. Nothing is permanent or destructive. So I'm gonna go back into my creative here. Let's go to the next clip. What's great about this pack is that it comes with two teal and orange LUTs. This coloring style is very popular in travel videos. The way the teal and orange LUT works is that the highlights and shadows are given two different designations for color. So the same LUT on a bright video clip versus a dark video clip will look completely different. These two LUTs can be interchangeable. You can see what it does here. So this gives the highlights a little bit more of an orange hue. This one prioritizes the teal and the highlights. So I think I like this one better. Our next clip here is just a couple of boats and a nice rolling green hill background. So let's go ahead and try to warm this one up here with Cine Warm. So right away you see it's more cinematic pulled a little bit more detail out of the shadows, softened it all up a bit, increased the warmth, adjusted the hue on the red and the orange. You can always change the intensity if this is maybe too much for you. I would highly recommend making some quick minor adjustments after you've applied the LUT, just because you're adding your own style now, throwing your own unique flair on it. So here we've got a nice little clip of a seagull. This could be a good clip for the cine drama LUT. It's kind of overcast, yet the subject is still well lit. So if you look at that, much more cinematic now. Here we have kind of an overcast harbor. So often what happens when you have an overcast scene, there's not a lot of color in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
hit the Cine Vibrant LUT just to bring a little bit more out of it. So as you can see, looks like almost we got a couple patches of blue skies back in there. The water's looking a lot nicer, less gross. Any color in the scene is just exaggerated and more vibrant. So for this clip here, it is a cliffside drone shot. So this clip alone is looking kind of bland and boring. I want to add some color to this kind of rocky white shoreline here just to give it more color. So if you use Cine Warm, you got a nice kind of pink yellow hue. It gives it more of a natural shoreline look. So again, like I mentioned before, you can go back into the basic correction and still adjust it. This clip's got some highlights that need fixing to begin with. So I'm just going to bring down the highlights. I still want to keep it bright just because it was a nice bright day. All right, and finally, our last clip here is a GoPro shot paddling on a lake at sunset. So for all you travelers out there, I know a lot of people have GoPros and shoot with them. You really should take the time and color your videos. So after a while, a lot of GoPro footage looks the same just because so many people out there have GoPros and don't really take the time to actually color it. So for this one, I'm going to I want to give it more of a kind of dramatic cold look just to make it stand out and look less like a GoPro video. So I'm going to use the Cine Cold. So here we got softer highlights, gives it more of a blue hue to the whole video. Much more dramatic than what it once was, kind of desaturates it a bit. Just gives you that cinematic feel that you're used to seeing in the movies. So there you have it, those are the Phil Degrade cinematic giveaway LUTs. I highly recommend you guys check these out, experiment with them, see what they can do, add your own flair to them, make them yours. And as always, for the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, Capture One styles, and video LUTs, check out PhilDegrade.com.